Hello anyone, Mr. Skyson here, and welcome to Text Adventure, an adventure in text. Because, yeah, if you haven't noticed by now, everything in it consists entirely of text, in a sort of ASCII-type style. And I gotta say, that's pretty awesome. I've seen some games have filters that made things look like the Matrix with ones and zeros or some scrambled text, but that's filters. This is literally images made of words describing what each thing is, which, again, is pretty awesome. Of course, on the screen right now, everything just says text adventure, but still, things get better. I've seen some screenshots. Cool visuals aside, though, text adventure is a point-and-click game. There's a monster, and that's literally all I know about it. I found it and thought it looked cool. So here we are. Now let's go. Click sword to start. Hey, a hand. I've seen a few screenshots about it, uh, pretty much the start screen, this, and a tree, I think. Mailbox. Yeah, see? Look at the, the art style going on. Creepy old tree, boarded up front door house, white house. White house with boarded up front door, there we go. It all scrolls across, it's a little hard to keep up with some of it, what is this? Uh, dirt ground floor. No, ordinary dirt ground floor. I like that. Also, that had to take a lot of work to do. It looks like there might be some, like an actual image with the word superimposed over it and some shading, but still, doing all the words like that, that's, that's, uh, that's not something you do in five minutes. Mailbox, what do you got for me? There's a letter. It says, Welcome to Text Adventure. Left and right click to collect or use things and drag items from your inventory to solve puzzles. Because that's how point and click games work. Have fun and don't get killed. Well, I did say there was a monster of some sort, so I guess it tries to kill me. Fun! Let's go to the creepy old house, Scooby. Boarded up front door. Front door, the front door is totally boarded up. Absolutely no way to get in. It's hopeless, all is lost. Why? Welcome, Matt. Maybe there's a key to the boarded up door. Welcome, Matt says. Welcome to Text Adventure. Please white feet before entering the dungeon. Well, this is a house, not a dungeon. Hey, kitchen. Anything else? Back to the yard. Kitchen. Well, let's go to the kitchen then. There's a broken old table. A dilapidated old kitchen. A living room. Hey, hey, there's that boarded up door again. Front door was completely boarded up by unknown persons who failed to consider the devi that devious adventurers might find their way in through the kitchen window. <laughs> Always board up your windows when abandoning a house. Newspaper. Adventure Today! This version of Text Adventure was made in Unity 3D. Huh. Couldn't tell by the, uh, absolute 2D looking everything. Using Adventure Creator for Adventure Jam 2016. Neat. So it's a jam game. If any bugs are found, please call an exterminator. Oh, I love a game with a sense of humor. I saw some stairs. Let's go to the attic, Scooby. Oh! Well, that's teeth. Well then, turns out walking into a dark place isn't such a good idea. You walked right into the gnashing fangs of a gruesome monster. Try again, but next time, bring some light with you. Okay then, let's find some light. I believe I saw... a thing. I don't know what it is. It's a little hard to tell what some stuff is. Oh wait, I can just read what everything is. Small table. Trophy case. Elaborate rug. And old lamp, or I could have just waved the thing over it and it said lamp. Uh, I don't point and click a lot. <laughs> hey, I can see, hey. That looks like, wait, that says, Ancient Elvish Sword. In a not ancient Elvish looking house? Well, I'm not going to question it. I got a sword. A dusty old attic. Rickety stool. Doesn't say what this is. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Nothing else seems to be clickable. Let's go. Wait. Inventory. Yay, I have an inventory. Saw that pop up a couple of times. Sword. Lamp. Combined sword with lamp. Flaming sword. Rug. This was clickable. 
Moving the rug reveals a trap door. Yes, it does. That is a very large trap door. Holy crap. That's, like, larger than the actual doors, and I did not read what was, uh, what I just did. I guess it was just saying that I opened it. To the cellar! Oh. Hello! You are very large. And those stairs seem to get rather small. Uh, how you doing? Horrendous ogre. The horrendous, monstrous, filthy old ogre towers above you. You probably have another few seconds before it eats you. I have a sword! Uh, I... I can drag. Yeah, you better not do that. The, bull the beast is fully alert and will probably eat your sword before you can strike it. Your only hope is to distract the monster if you would. I think it said if I wanted to slay it. So let's get out of here. Even though I'm leaving the trap door open. Um, I think I've gone everywhere in the house. Is there anywhere else? There was that tree before. Yeah, there's a tree. Ew, spoopy. Climb tree, yard, clearing in field, spooky old tree. I love the the style of this game with all the text. Oh, with all the text making everything. It the images themselves, especially like this. It looks like somebody went out into a dark area with a flash camera and just took a picture. Like, all, all, like, really bright on the tree, and then everything else is like a dim glow. I, I like that. It's, especially with the ambient, um, single tone continuously playing behind me. It, it's got that sort of spooky feeling, but not really, because it's a point-and-click game. Yeah, we got some creepy vines here. Ooh. It's like fingers trying to grab me. Oh, I'm afraid. I'm down tree. Egg! That is a jeweled egg in a nest. Yay, reading to play a game. <laughs> but seriously, I, I really like the, uh, I guess you would call it art style for the game. Because this is, this is really neat with all the words making everything. Even though I'm pretty sure it's, uh, as I said before, like, put over, like, a, at least a faded image. I have an egg. What do I do with an egg? Can I put it in the mailbox? I want to mail somebody an egg. And don't get killed. Yeah, I, uh, I got killed. I defied you, whoever sent me mail. Welcome, Matt. Can I egg the house? Let me egg the house. Splat. Right? Egg the door. Nope, can't use that there. Come on, I want to egg the house. Well, it's a jeweled egg. I don't... What do I do with a jeweled egg? Maybe I can go egg the ogre. I'm gonna egg him on. Not much of a face, though. He looks kind of like an ogre-type action figure, and holy crap! Those are some big legs I just noticed. Wow! Unless that's not a leg. Oh my. I'm gonna egg you in the face. Splat! Oh my god, I got him in the face. Uh, Ernest Ogre. Yes, the beast is distracted, lapping up the rotten yolk with its filthy tongue. Now is the time to strike. Gonna burn him with my lamp. I said, burn him with the lamp. Nope, can't use that there. Sword! And he's deaded. You did it, the horrible ogre. Uh, something about him being dead, I suppose. They go by quickly, I need to read faster. Yep, it's still dead. You won! You can quit the game now or just admire the lovely scenery. Either way, you are the champion. They will probably write a song about you. Cool. Somebody write a song about me. I don't care if it's good or bad. Mm, dirty. Foul, dirty dungeon cellar. Hole. Sm smiley drain hole. I feel like that's supposed to be slimy drain hole, but it says smiley drain hole. What a happy drain hole. Why is there a drain? Why is any of this as a basement to this house? This is, this looks more like some sort of ancient catacombs or something. Archways, drain, a coal chute for some reason, rocky passage. Interesting. I would really like that. I think I'm actually done with it, but, uh, wait, can I go back to this? Does this say anything new? No, it does not. Okay, onward. Back to the outside. Any new mail? Let me check that. 
I should have tried to see if I could chop down the... Well, I can go ahead and hit that. Can I chop you down? Nope. Oh, come on, it's a good sword. It should be able to break down the barrier. Mailbox, anything? Nope, it's just the welcome. Huh. Well, I guess that's it. I've beaten the game. Very short game. I would like to see... I mean, I've never done a whole lot of uh, point-and-click type games. And no real reason, I just haven't. It never really appealed to me quite as much unless it just had a, a really interesting gimmick to it, which this definitely had with the text adventure thing going on. I really like the style of this. I would like to see like an actual full game uh, made this way. Of course, I would probably take forever to uh, make all the text in such a way. Because it, it actually, some of it actually blends together, like generic background going into mailbox. I don't know, maybe some of it is like pasted over. I'm not sure, it's really hard to tell. Eh. But yeah, it would be neat to see a game like this. Uh, or like a full game. Not just, get a sword, get this thing, kill the thing, you win. But like an actual adventure, maybe like some people, other things, I don't know. But anywho, this has been Text Adventure, a point and click adventure. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you did, then give the like button a tap. And if you want to see more like this or more from me, then give the subscribe button a big thumbs up. I'll see you all next time, and remember to stay groovy.